solving circles using the segmented rise function. This function lets us find the vertical dimension between the cord and the arc at various set spacing along the cord. Once the calculator is on, activate the circle mode. A little circle icon will light up on the upper left corner of the display. Now, let's say we know the radius and the cord. The radius is 12 feet 8 and 1 quarter inches, and the cord is 23 feet 6 inches. First, enter the radius. Tell the calculator this is the radius. Now, let's enter the cord. Now, we need to enter the default spacing which we want to use along the cord, beginning from the center line. Let's say our default spacing is 1 foot 10 inches. We tell the calculator this is the default spacing by pressing the space key. With this complete, now we need to activate the segmented rise function by pressing the invert key followed by the segmented rise function key. The first dimension that is automatically displayed is the MO or middle ordinate being on the center line of the arc. Now, all we need to do is press the plus key and a new vertical dimension will be displayed at each 1 foot 10 inch interval along the cord. A, B, C. Now, let's inject a different or special spacing like 2 feet 4 inches. Tell the calculator this is the new space by pressing the space key again. Ask for the rise dimension for this special spacing, D. When we press the plus dimension again, the calculator will automatically divert back to the default dimension of 1 foot 10 inches. E, F. If we need to find only one dimension like the F dimension in this diagram, which is 5 feet over from the center line, the simplest way is first to clear the display. Now enter a new default spacing. In this case, it is 5 feet. Press the space key. Activate the segmental rise function again by pressing the invert key and the segmental rise function key. Again, the MO or center line dimension is automatically displayed. Now press the plus key. This is the rise dimension for F. As you can see, once you get the sequence of entries in mind, the solution for various segmental rise dimensions are very fast and easy. See the Jobber 6 user's manual for additional illustrations and information on using the circle function on the Jobber 6.